Welcome to the Nawal Zone. My name is Anam. Yet another episode. Today we are dealing with recapitulation. I've already done a fairly um, simple but detailed video on it before. I'll give you the link to that. Go watch that and then let's do recapitulation part two. So we have a user Ali Luca who watched that earlier video and posed some excellent questions that I want to answer today. So thank you Ali Luca for posing these questions and I'll try my best to answer them. Ali goes on to say thank you Anam for this video. How to recap really? How to recap? I'll, I'll go on to that. Shall one repeat the same experience in one's head or shall it just review the memory? Okay, first of all, let's, let's really understand what recapitulation is. If you try to recapitulate without first having built up or accrued or uncovered, however you want to take it, a certain measure of inner silence within you, all you'll end up doing is feeling nostalgic. That's it. So recapitulation is a very action oriented task. It has nothing to do with doing things in your mind. Although in later stages, you can do that in your mind. Initially, for apprentices, it's you got to get out there. And I'll tell you about that in a bit. Shall one repeat the same experience in one head, one's head or shall it just review the memory? Again, initially, you don't do these things in your head because all you do, if you do not have a certain threshold of inner silence developed within you, all you will accomplish is a bit of nostalgic sort of feeling in you. Nothing will get released. They will not uncover any caches of energy for any practical use or anything because you do not have the requisite qualification in terms of inner silence for it. Make sense so far? So when people tell you, uh, you know, when people are doing all this uh, weird stuff like putting themselves in boxes in darkness and <laughs> trying to... <laughs> trying to... <laughs> <laughs> it's laughable trying to remember things because they read it in some book or someone gave a seminar. This is all, all amateurish behavior, guys. These are aberrations of the mind. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with actual Toltec uh, training. Not, no energy is going to get freed up <laughs> for you if you lock yourself in a box and try to do this or that, all the rest of it. So anyone who's you know, teaching these kind of things to ignorant people. This is just imbecilic behavior. This is <laughs> trained Toltecs, trained warriors don't do all this nonsense. So please learn to distinguish between religious religion and functionality. This religion versus functionality exists in martial arts, in actual religion, in all this Castaneda business. Um, it exists everywhere. This mentality of people somehow, I don't know why we favor religious behavior, which is totally aberrant, to actual functional things that actually give us an advantage. I have no idea why people do that. It's most, mostly out of ignorance and and and. Uh, false teachings. So remember this, you got to first work on your inner silence, develop it more than enough and life will naturally and organically lead you to, re to true recapitulation. It'll organically, you won't have to go seek it out and lock yourself up in a dark box or something. You won't have to do all that. Life will naturally and organically lead you, I promise you, to starting to recapitulate important events in your life. Okay, let's move on. 
shall one talk to oneself about the experience and the images one remembers or shall one just observe the memory, the images, sounds and feelings silently? You need to know how to observe and notice before you can do this. We'll come to more of a practical way to do it in a bit. But uh, again, we don't even know how to observe things. We don't really, do we? We don't even notice minute changes in temperature around us. We don't notice that bird singing. We, it sang and it escaped your notice. We do not have the necessary... We don't notice anything except Instagram and uh, all this nonsensical stuff, uh, except our own petty behaviors. Uh, you know, we don't no really notice much in our life, do we now? Really, be honest. So, so per in the pursuit of developing a certain threshold, which is a huge threshold, we start with not even a tiny bit of inner silence. Believe me, we, anyone who thinks there's some kind of big shot in inner silence, you got work to do. We, when you're starting, when you're beginning in the, on the, you know, we don't have enough inner silence by far. And you'd be surprised how much of it you need to accumulate first or develop or cultivate in yourself first or discover before you, life will start giving you recapitulative experiences. Hmm? So that pursuit of inner silence will, uh, will necessarily hone your skill at observation, self-observation, self-observation, yeah? self-analysis. It will remove you from your petty, nonsensical bullshit. It will start giving you a buffer between your petty nonsense, your tyrannical ways towards yourself. It will give you a buffer from your stories and allow, and, and, and allow you to develop the power to observe yourself and the world around you as a hunter should, as a warrior should. Once that is developed in you, recapitulation is the next organic step. It must happen. Life will, will lead you to it. Is it the intent of freeing up the energy of a particular event that matters? Very good question. Recapitulation must be done with the intent of recapitulation. Otherwise, it simply becomes nostalgic remembrance. Yeah, you want to stay away from being swayed emotionally into nostalgic remembrance and you want to stay steel hard in your intent that no matter how much the feelings come, I'm going to stay with my intent to free up this, to be free from really. Recapitulation is a freeing from, you know, in which then frees you, frees energy inside of you. It's a, it's a topic most best, you know, uh, demonstrated. Like you need, li like you need a benefactor to walk you through it. Significant events. Is it the meaning to remember literally your entire life or the significant events that are somewhere in the memory? <clears throat> Again, um, this is all bass backwards. Yeah, this is all bass backwards, ass backwards. Because you want to wait for life to organically bring you to recapitulation. So before asking these questions, I would self-assess how much inner silence have I actually cultivated or discovered? Do I have the ability to remain deeply steeped in my inner silence for long periods of time at a stretch without being distracted, without, you know, being able to observe myself impartially. If you do not have that ability, these questions are pointless because the tools aren't available, right? So a video on how to do it practically is very appreciated. I'll go through these questions over again. I want to give you something practical here. 
Recapitulation, this is the way I advise my apprentices when they come to that point. It organically happens anyway. This is what I advise you to do. Go to your childhood home. If you're still living in your childhood home, man, that's... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you're still living in your childhood home? So go to your childhood home, drive past it, walk past it, if it's owned by someone else, whatever. Certain feelings will arise for you. Certain memories will come. Certain, yeah, certain emotions will arise. You need to have enough self-observation at that point to be able to keenly feel, keenly experience all of that that will arise. You need to have enough noticing power developed in you. And this isn't a heady jerk-off thing, you're jerking off in your head when it's happening, no. This is a very, very... You need to be silent at that point and allow what is coming up to come up properly in its fullness. And, and stay with your unbending intent to let it do its work. You don't direct it, you don't guide it, you don't do anything about it. You just let it be there. And without being washed away by all of that, you... Allow yourself to experience the good bits and the bad bits, whatever it is happening in your experience. You allow that to happen. Yeah. My favorite technique, and you don't have to do it every time, each time, because it can become a distraction and you don't want to be distracted, is to start your head from the left. Take a deep breath in and... And then start from here. Sometimes I only do one way. Sometimes I do both ways. Depending on how you, you know, again, the, your own self-observation and your own rapport, your friendship with your body will tell you what your body needs to be doing at that point in terms of breathing. And you breathe the energy into your field again on in a video it's it sounds stupid and you know what the hell but these are very effective techniques and i can't really demonstrate them on a video like this right so uh, so that's the practical side and then you'll have to do this again and shift your ass get up off your from your computer go off to your childhood home again Next, when your body will tell you when to go next. Don't just, this is not a mental, uh, you know, I'm going to boss myself around and recapitulate that way. It doesn't, it's not like that. You wait, you learn to wait patiently. Your body will tell you when recapitulation must happen again. Go off to that thing again, do it again. Do it again and again. Go off to your childhood home. Drive past it again, stay there for as long as it's needed, whatever you need to do. And you need to do it again and again. It may take years just to recapitulate one thing. And you do it till one day you drive past, you walk past, and you feel absolutely nothing. You have now freed up all the trapped energy, the energy, you know, the energy that was not moving. You have freed it up fully. And there is nothing in there for you anymore. There's nothing in there for you anymore, right? So you need to do that again and again. And eventually as you practice, as your body repeats the process, it will become more efficient for you. You will then move on to the mental realms. This is, we're talking sometimes, in, for, in some apprentices' cases, decades later. I can now... Uh, you know, and then dreams, dreaming time is very important. Uh, you know, you need to know about dreaming. You need to train in dreaming. That's a whole freaking career in itself. Believe it, really, it's not easy. So uh, all these videos on YouTube, lucid dreaming made easy. L lucid dreaming in five minutes. <laughs> you know... 
There are no free lunches in this world, guys. You got to work your ass off. Blood should be coming out of your forehead instead of sweat. That's how you hard you work for even an inch of progress. Sometimes it comes easy. Most times you got to pay for you in terms of your soul to get a little bit of knowledge. So don't be don't waste your time with f- trying to get free lunches. Be prepared mentally to pay for every bit of knowledge you gain, self-knowledge you gain. So try this. You know, childhood homes are a really great are really great as a trigger for recapitulation. However, personally, I don't tell my apprentices go and do this. I just watch them. What I do tell them is go and work on your inner silence, develop it. And then I watch and wait and I see they start reporting back to me, "Oh, I had a dream about, you know, that event I had in my life 55 years ago or 15 years ago or when I was a kid or whatever. Then, they st- you know, they start talking about these things. What do you think that dream was? That's when I might say, hey, it might be a good idea for you to just walk past your old school again. Take a little walk around that block. You know, walk past your university or your friend's house or where he used to live or that old library that you used to go to. I don't know. Whatever are your, is you know, that old um, shop or that old skateboard. Take that out of your attic and take a look at, you know, different things. You know, that trigger, trigger things. And then you repeat that exposure, that controlled, scientific, strategic exposure. You repeat that again and again. Not to desensitize yourself, that's not the point, but to have, uh, to be free from it in a sense, to, uh, to integrate it, to integrate it fully into your consciousness so that now it isn't making you lonely and nostalgic, the good old days, yeah, it's not moving you towards feeling sorry for yourself and your loser's life or some th- thoughts like that it is now giving you power because it's integrated safely and holistically into your consciousness and your life is one seamless flow and these things aren't breaking that seamless flow anymore i hope I, you know it's so clear to me because i've done it you know when you do something you, no explanations are needed no questions are needed so i urge you to concentrate on cultivating inner silence. All this recapitulation will come. You won't have to shut yourself up in a box. You won't have to listen to false imbeciles preaching and teaching false things that they've never done in their whole bloody life. They, They haven't recapitulated anything in their life. They don't even know what that even means, really, In you know, because <laughs> there's no training. They're just guessing because they read some books. They're now guessing what it must be like. So beware of false teaching. I've done another video on that, false teachers, you know, how to spot them. And this is what I would say, guys, about recapitulation. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any more questions, let me know. I myself have done it. Any practical examples, let's... Uh, I used to live in a house where I first met my benefactor. So many memories in that house. I started my martial arts training in earnest there. Oh my God, so many breakthroughs in that place. Got my first computer there. Got my first video games console there. Um, it was a fabulous time in my life. It was, I was like glorious time in my life. So much amazing stuff used to go on. Um and it took me many, many dream time, moving through, you know, engaging in dream time, physically going there again and again, sitting, you know, it was long, or some other people were living there long, you know, for a long time already. And, you know, really took, but none of that, the thing is, none of that I did by myself. I ended up in the vicinity. I I would just mysteriously end up in the vicinity due to something totally different 
and then say, oh, let me just go and just walk around that block again and walk, walk around and, you know, just look at the house again and sort of try and peer through the window, see if it's all the same or whatever. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this has clarified these questions for you. And again, you know, if it hasn't, absolutely ask again. Say, I wasn't clear. I don't know what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> Ask them again, I'll do another video. I don't mind. And, you know, to help clarify these things. Leave your comments below and walk in freedom. Stay connected. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.